So, Grandpa's Creatures here, Exotic Creatures. Just made the video, my introduction of my tour room video, and I realized that the, I must have hit the stop button. So that was my practice run, I guess, because I kept talking through the whole thing. So let's try it again. So, with my quick uh, wide view, this is my gaming room in the beginning, and now it's becoming my animal room. My Flynn and my Ruby, my French Bulldogs. These are my baby ball pythons. Got three. They're in my terrestrial exoterras, which are going to be eventually for my Sturmy, Apophysis, and my, uh, and my, uh, Lassiodora Parabana. Then I got my baby bearded dragon, Despacita. Hello. Up here, my albino Pac-Man frog hiding. Then my grandma stole a Rosea, Rosie. Back there, you can see the legs of my Salmius, Salmopius, uh, Polker. Up here, I have a, a young Salmopius Arminia. Don't know where she's hiding right now, though. She's in here. Back in here, I have uh, my curly hair. The little cattle Avopolosum, full grown female. She's hiding somewhere, like, like most of them. Here, I have all my slings. Those are all my slings. Uh, I got the, the god Paterm, Paterno Sazamai. She's down there burrowed at the bottom. Here I have a Brachypelma of Bomai. One of my first slings, and she has not grown for crap, man. She is a really slow grower. Then I got these two Grandma Stola Pulchras. Here I have my Afano Parma Calcotis. She is right. Oh, my Shit. I hope she's okay. Man. Well, that sucked. That's never happened. But the good news is her tunnel stayed intact. So she built a pretty good tunnel. I hope she's okay. This is my uh, blue fang. This is my Neo Inside Gold, Neo Thela Inside Gold. And then I have a Serial Cosmos Elegance. Then right here I have. My dog was Pentalorus. Another blue fang somewhere hiding in there. They're usually up top. Yeah, right there. Uh, then I have my grandma, another Grandma Stola Polkra, and I have a Darlingy horn baboon. Back here is my Grandma Stola Polkra female. She's about three years old. She's in pre-molt right now. Can't wait till she molts. Then I have three Brachiopelma Hamoris. Pretty small. That's one of them. The other one's back there, it looks like, too. Or maybe that's just some, some moss. Here and here I have my electric blue in there. She actually, when I got her, she molted um, in, during shipping. And she lost a leg during one of her moltings. And she had a... Uh, Still one wonky leg, too. So she's got like six good legs. And there's my OBT. And here is my skeleton tarantula. She's got a nice burrow down in there. Really nice. She webbed it up. It's a little baby, too. Over here is my T apophysis. She's hiding in there. She just newly molted. Back here, I have another Grandma Stola Polka, another Grandma Stola Polka. Carabina Versicolor, uh, uh, GBV, Chromatopelma cyana pubescence. And I have another one here, Chromatopelma cyana pubescence. And here's my first sling that I ever got. The curly hair was my actually my first tarantula I got it from my wife because she's actually the, the one that loves spiders. I didn't even have any interest in spiders until I thought I'd buy her one for her birthday. And then... It's like Pokemon cards. You get one, then you got to get all the other different ones. Became an addiction and obsession for me. Yeah, my Caribbean Universe color just molted about two weeks ago. That leg is just part of the molt. The mold is actually down there. Uh, I have a Grandma Stone of Polkripes right here. She just molted two days ago. Over here, I have my Theraphosa Sturmy. 
somewhere in there. Wish I could get her out, or actually, if can't really see in there. Wish I had a flashlight. But well, she just molted three days ago. She's pretty big. Then I have two A. Genia Coladas, another La Ciudora Parahabana, and two Nandochromatis. They're always hiding now. So that's basically it. And I also have one Asian for Asian forest scorpion. But I don't know what exactly her specific genus is or species, subspecies. So yeah, because I got it at a local pet store. And I do keep my crickets down here. That's where I keep my feeders. I throw a, a carrot in there and, and lettuce every now and then to keep them hydrated and something to eat as well as like typical insect pet food. And then here, I haven't really fed any of my dubia roaches because I'm just starting this colony, but they're doing really good. Got a lot of babies in there. And I didn't have any babies when I first got these. I was just buying a couple of uh, little plastic, you know, packages that you get from the local pet store. And it's growing. And I just keep a wet paper towel so they have something to drink and then throw lettuce and some dog food or carrots and stuff like that in there for them to keep feeding. So yeah, that's it. What do you think, Ruby? Did we get everything? Ruby? Do we get everything? Yeah. What about you, Flynn? You think we got everything? So that'll be my next wall or my, I might have to switch rooms with my son. Because this room is pretty small. This was really just in the beginning of my gaming room. Or I gotta add room here. Or a shelf here where my spiders are at. So, yeah, that's basically all of it. So, thanks for checking out my room.